In an unexpected turn of events, the tranquil settlement of Canaan, located near Harare, Zimbabwe, has been thrust into the global spotlight. The community, established by the self-styled prophet, Madzibaba Ishmael Chokurungarwa, now stands accused of exploiting children for labor and denying them their rightful access to formal education. The community, which follows a unique set of teachings, places a higher value on practical skills than on traditional schooling. Despite the seemingly innocent intent, these practices have resulted in the arrest of Ishmael and several other leaders for violating labor laws. The issue at hand raises a critical question. Is this a case of religious freedom being exercised or a gross violation of children's rights? At the heart of the controversy is the settlement's founder, Madzi Baba Ishmael. A charismatic figure who has cultivated a devoted following, Ishmael's teachings are unquestioningly adhered to by his disciples. They maintain that everything that happens in Canaan is, in fact, God's will. However, authorities see a different picture. They see children being deprived of formal education and being made to work, thus violating not only labor laws but also infringing on the children's rights to education and a safe childhood. As the situation unfolds, the tension between the religious freedom rights of the community and the child rights protections enforced by the state has become more palpable. The authorities' intervention, while necessary, has sparked debate about the delicate balance between religious liberty and the welfare of children. The arrest of Ishmael and his cohorts has left the community in a state of uncertainty. With their leader in custody, the future of the settlement and its residents hangs in the balance. There's a looming question. Will the community continue to follow Ishmael's teachings, or will they adapt to the mainstream education system and labor laws? In summary, the story of Madzibaba Ishmael's Canaan is a complex one, entangled with themes of religious freedom, child rights, and state intervention. As it stands currently, the fate of Canaan and its residents is yet to be determined. As the world watches on, the unfolding events in this small settlement near Harare, Zimbabwe, serve as a stark reminder of the delicate balance between individual liberties and societal norms.